You don't need to be a Revit expert to be able to create a form like this in Revit using the native Revit tools. So first of all, let's see uh, what we have here. And we have this circular roof with a continuous slope. And then we have all the walls which goes up to that roof and this opening inside. So let's just create it in Revit. And I'm in Revit 2025. So what I'm going to use is a roof by footprint. We'll place it on a level one. And I'm going to draw the circular shape of let's say 15 meter radius. It's quite important to have this uh, unchecked, unticked, this defined roof slopes. And if I now go to finish, we are going to get this flat roof. And that's not, that's not something what we would like to have. So I'm going to go to the edit footprint and then slope arrow and I will draw the arrow. And once I draw the arrow, I can select it and I can add the height at the beginning and let's say at the end. And if I now go finish, you see that we got this, uh, this uh, flat roof uh, with, a, with a continuous slope. And what we have to do now is to create this opening. And in Revit, you can do it in a multiple ways. So you can just go here, edit footprint and uh, draw a different footprint. Or you can just uh, create a shaft. I will open now this side plan, side view. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the vertical opening tool. I'm going to select the roof and I'm going to draw the opening shape. So here it comes. And by the way, what we have to do next is to create those walls and it's quite simple. So I'm in this case going to use a wall tool and we'll take this thicker wall. It's quite important that all your walls ending up under the roof. So you can see that if you hover the mouse over the roof edge where the wall is going to be placed with this uh, blue dashed line. So they need to go inside under the roof. And once you place them, if you hover the mouse over one of the walls, and press tab on a keyboard, it's going to select all the walls. Then go to attach the base and attach top to the roof. And now if I, let's say, go here to the edit footprint and I adjust, let's say this to five meters and then the, the end of one meter. So I just the slope and go finish. You see that also our walls are following the roof slope. So it was quite simple. And by the way, if you are willing to level up your modeling skills and to have a very better understanding of the roofs in Revit, you don't want to miss this tutorial.